What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking to Nike, Airship, Soul Goods, Prove Yourself. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Nike, Jordan, Airship, So Goods, Prove Yourself. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release January 20th to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $150, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and right now look like they're averaging $375 and up depending on the size, right? Okay, so here we are, here's another collab, so good. Um, I think the last time we seen a collab with them was a Nike Dunk High, but don't quote me on that, but I believe it was a Nike Dunk High back in 2022, got a green colorway, but don't quote me on that. And here we are again. Now I could be slipping, so remind the kid down in the comment section if I am missing something that was more recent, right? Okay, but here we are. Airship and we got Soul Goods and they got the number five on the back heel. Colorways on these joints is pretty much is looking like a brown and gray colorway, which don't seem like it should work, but then again, I've told you guys time and time again that gray is pretty much universal, right? Okay, it'll work with anything. Now, here we are, Nike still trying to push the Airships as well as the Air Jordan 2, but I feel like the Airships will do slightly better, hence why that resale price is kind of up there, but I am anticipating as we get close to that release date, the price will slightly drop, right? Okay, but don't quote me on that because I'm no professional reseller, but overall, what I got from the shoe is pretty much, um, Obviously, Beijing inspired, and if you look up Soul Goods, I think that's where it's actually, when you look up the website, that's where it is based, right? Okay, and I think they got other reasons as well that they cover. I think even on the box, they have different locations on each and every box, but here we are. And I will say this, um, I haven't seen these loaded up on the Sneakers app or the Nike app, not even on the Beijing website, but if you go to Beijing's Insta, or my bad, not the Beijing website, So Goods website, my bad everybody, but if you go to So Goods Instagram, you'll see they do have it loaded up on a post, so we know that it's coming soon, and to the best of my knowledge and research that I found, it's gonna be on the 20th, right, okay? So I'm assuming what they're gonna do is put it on the website first, and then follow it up on the Sneakers app, but don't quote me on that, but, if history repeats itself and they keep doing what we're kind of used to, that's what it is. But every now and then we get that surprise drop. Now, um, I think to the best of my knowledge, that number five on there, after doing the research, because they do kind of put that on the shoe, it's based off some history back in the day of where I believe that was the number that somebody wore on a, I want to say something back in the day where it was a game where they wore the number five and they actually beat the team and they went against what the rules were, not necessarily the game of the rules or what they were told to do actually. All right, okay, and I'm probably butchering this way more than I had to, but that five has a significant uh, mix to it. And then of course they have the, I guess you wanna say, it looks like a Tiger logo on there. So um, a lot of things going on with this shoe and to be honest, I don't own a pair of airships, right, okay? And I have yet to find one that really just makes me like, wow me, so to speak. And even though technically, right, and we're gonna talk airships, that was what Jordan, and I'm talking Michael Jordan here, wore first that actually got banned in NBA when he was playing as a rookie. That's what got banned first. Before there was the actual Jordan one, there was the airship first, right? The Nike airship. So this is why this shoe is so significant and why we talk about it in sneaker culture in general. And here we are with the collab with Soul Goods. Um, to me, personally, not a bad shoe, but at the same time, um, I'm not gonna say it takes a lot for me to sell the airships, but at the same time, bro, like, um, I am very particular when it comes to my sneaker collecting now because, again, I'm gonna just keep it 100, and I was talking to Dunks about this the other day. If I go for every single sneaker, I, I would have to move every single, I would have to buy a 
house dedicated to it, right? Okay, and some people do have that. But um, overall, I do like the concept and I do like the colorways. Brown is one of those colorways. I don't hate it, but I'm not necessarily in love with it. But I know for a fact, if I grabbed this shoe, I wouldn't wear it enough to justify buying it for the $150 price, pack, uh, price tag, let alone on the resale market on what it's going for. Probably if you're lucky, getting it at $300 in my size. So overall for the kid, dope shoe. Um, I like what Soul Goods have done with the collabs in the past, but for me personally, um, maybe another model, but when it comes to these airship joints, for me personally, these will be a skip. Not a bad shoe, but at the same time, um, how should I word this? Uh, it's a shoe uh, to keep it a hundred. If this particular, if they didn't do this collab, if it didn't exist, I probably wouldn't be like, I don't know, I wouldn't I wouldn't ask for it, so to speak, if that's safe to say. So overall for the kid, these will be a skip, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section on where you're going after these on January 20th, retailing at $150. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.